Hey y'all, it's Magnolia Money, and today I wanted to show you guys how to do the 222 and the 444 method for the rundowns workouts here for eliminating and predicting your cash three, pick three numbers games for your state. Uh, what you'll do is you will find what your most current winning number is. For Mississippi, on this particular day that we're going to use an example for is on 1221, the winning number was 702. Now, if your state has multiple drawings, like midday and evening drawings, you will go from midday to midday, and you will go evening to evening for these particular methods. I've been told that that works best, and it's more accurate, so just for the advice from others, just follow that. All right, now what you'll do is you'll write down 222, and you'll write down 444. Your next step is to add your winning number. So for instance, you have 702 underneath your 222, you would write 702 under the 444. You will add this number, 7 plus 2 is 9. You'll take 9 plus 2 is 11. Now, with it being the lottery, you only use what's on the 1's position. So, in this case, you would just keep it as a 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Once your number repeats, you keep doing this until it repeats itself, right? So once the number starts repeating, that's where you know you stop at. Now you do the same thing here and here. You go 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. All right, so with the 10, you don't add the 1. You just keep what's in the 1's position, which is the 0, therefore giving you 7, 0. You follow this again, and you do the same thing here on the 4, 4, 4. Now, once you have these done, what your next step would be that I would recommend to help you narrow down a little bit of what you're looking for in position wise. I know with the longer rundowns, this is extremely helpful. With the short rundowns like these here, which is about half the size of the numbers you have, it's, it's also great uh, to, to use this as well. What you'll do is you'll find the date sum. All right, the date sum is where you take the date that you're looking for the number. So at this point, we don't know what that future number is, right? We're looking for what's coming on 1222. Okay, so we take 12 plus 22, it gives us 34. We take the last digit in the ones position, which is the four, and that's what we're looking for up here. This gives us kind of a starting point. All right, so you take your fours and you circle them. As you can see, it's right here, and you can, some people will circle these up here, you know, that's fine, but I usually go strictly what's kind of inside the, uh, the actual method itself. So what you're going to do next, once you have all this set up, you're looking for your following night's numbers. In this case, we know it is 032. Okay, so since we know this is what it is, I'm just going to show you kind of like where it goes, where it falls into this particular method. All right, so we're looking for 032. Not in any particular order, just a 0, a 3, and a 2. All right, so we have right here 302. Okay, there it goes. It's played right there. Now, the next thing you want to do is look for mirrors, okay, because this is going to help you out as well. Uh, sometimes they will play what I call as a base method right here or straight out as what the winning number is. But most often, especially in Mississippi, they always mirror something. It does not matter. It could be one or two numbers. They're going to mirror something usually. All right, so what is a mirror? A mirror is something that can play as the number that it matches up with. For instance, a zero can be played as a five and a five can be played as a zero. Uh, same goes for a three and an eight. If you see an eight, it can be a three. If you see a three, it can be an eight. All right, so that's what this basically is telling you here. Uh, an example would be if you take 702 and mirror it, it would be a two, five, seven. All right, that's just an example. Uh, if you have, say, one, three, seven, it would mirror as a six, eight, two just based on the chart here. All right, so we're getting back to the point here. We're looking for numbers that we can eliminate to find the 0, 3, 2. And being as how we just covered the mirrors, this is what we're going to look for. We're looking for anything that can be played, which would be a 5, an 8, or a 7. So we're looking for 5, 8, 7. And as you guys can see, you have a 5, 8, and a 7 right there. All right, so if we take one of those numbers, it would be 3, 5, 7, which would also play as a 2, which would be 0, 3, 2. We have it right here. So we've got it going in a line there. Typically, these will connect to your date sums. That's why I look for the date sums, because typically they are going to come off and play straight off of that. All right, another thing is here that we're looking for is 0, 3, 2. Uh, we would have 0, excuse me, 0. This would be a 3. There would be your 2. As you can see, it connects and touches to the date sum. 
let's see here. Another one would be, uh, for example, would be 302 that also touches. And you can see how it's kind of multiple times around one of the, uh, the date sums. That's what you're going to want to look for. I'm um, not going to mark every single one for this video, but you guys kind of get the idea. Another one on this side would be your three, which is an eight that can play as a three, zero, two. As you can see, it connects to the date sum. But you guys, this is a little bit of how you want to run these 222 and 444 methods. You can see where it can help predict and help eliminate some of the other numbers. It kind of gives you a narrowing down. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, these processes are still new to us here in Mississippi as we've only had cash three since September. Uh, it's been a few months now. We've definitely got some wins in by using these methods incorporated with the grids and tic-tac-toe methods, which you can also find the link to in the description below for those videos that explain how to do the grids and how to cross-reference as well. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Y'all take care and y'all have a blessed day.